Hey guys, it's Holly from Clubhouse Kids. So my last video, I went over my um, entire daycare schedule and kind of just went through and told you all the activities I do with the kids throughout the day. And one of those is um, our gross motor time. And after that video, I realized that that portion was really unclear. And so this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks on how to do gross motor activities with your kids when you don't have a lot of space. Now, I do not have preschoolers, so if you do have a daycare with, uh, you know, larger, older kids, you will need a little more space. My kids are anywhere between ages six weeks to 24 months, and so I don't need um, a huge amount of space for working on gross motor skills. And so I just want to show you kind of um, some activities that I do um, to help them in this developmental area, but also not using a lot of space and because all this stuff has to be stored away. So I don't have a indoor like gross motor room. I used to have a smaller room, but um, we are actually doing some construction on our house. And so that portion of our house became a construction zone. And so I'm going to show you how I still do gross motor with my daycare kids. So I like to split the week up into uh, kind of five different areas that I'm working on with the kids. And that is uh, on Mondays we do jumping, on Tuesdays we do climbing, on Wednesdays we do tunnel and ball pit, on Thursdays we do balance, and on Fridays we do exercise ball. Now some of the kids, depending on their ages, you know, some of them aren't even climbing because they're not even sitting up yet. And so within each group I have smaller goals that I work with each individual child, meaning that the, you know, the future goal is for them to climb, but what do they have to do in order to reach that goal? Well, they might be working on, um, you know, tummy time. Every kid can be doing something within that area that we are working on, if that makes sense. So I'm going to kind of just go over some of the stuff that I have in my house for gross motor, and I'll show you kind of where I store that. It does not take a lot of space. Um, so the first one, probably the largest item I have is my exercise ball. And so it is a yoga ball or Pilates ball and it is weighted on the bottom, which is really nice. So when I have a baby on the ball, um, you know, the ball's not going to get away from me. It's now this I store in my garage. And so when we are doing exercise ball, I just go out to the garage and grab it. I just keep it in the corner of our garage. And so it's really out of our daycare space. Now this is great for um, like the ones that are doing tummy time. You can lay them on their tummy and just kind of rock the babies back and forth. Um, with the older ones, you can sit them here and bounce them. They love that. And also you can kind of do this and kind of breaks that midline. Um, and they're gonna have to um, just work on uh, balance and stuff. Uh, we like to sing songs. Row, row, row your boat is a really good one on the exercise ball. And so I don't think I have ever met a kid that doesn't love when I pull out the exercise ball. So we have a lot of fun with this. This is a larger item, but if you have a garage or a space that you can kind of put it away, um, this is great for daycare. So. so the second one that I have that is a great thing to work with with the babies and toddlers is a roller like this. It's a foam roller. And so how I do this one is that they will actually saddle this and then you can roll this back and forth. They have to break that midline again. Um, sometimes I'll take a toy and hold a toy, and as I roll it, like they have to reach for the toy. Um, better yet, if they cross this way to reach for the toy. Um, so this is an activity that's not going to, they're not going to be as interested in this for as long as they will like the ball, but this is a, also a great, um, really cheap foam roller and for gross motor with the little ones. So another thing I have, is some climbing stairs and these are just some foam climbing stairs this is what we start off with first so the kids will just um, you know these are really soft and so when they're really just first learning how to climb they can climb these stairs as they get a little bit older I'll actually just take them to the stairs in my house and we work on climbing up and down those stairs um, and then there's a I have a wedge as well um, and it just goes together here I'll show you and it just sits like this and the kids can um, just, they really just climb. They use this like a slide and they slide down on their bellies. They slide down on their, their 
bottom. So this works really well for um, just early climbing skills. And then also just using your own stairs in your house is a good idea. Uh, this is a little bit of a larger um, equipment as well. I, I just um, store this over by my couch in my family room because my daughter uses this. Um, sometimes she likes to sit on it while she watches TV. And so, um, so I just store that in my family room. And then I have a tunnel. These are great because this can just slide in the corner of my closet. Um, but when you take out your tunnels, they're really, um, really big. The kids love to climb through this. So I'll open it up and show it to you guys over here. So I really like this one because it actually has three pieces to it. And so if you have a little one that is, um, just a really small, like the, sometimes the long tunnels are a little too overwhelming, but this one's pretty little, so they can just do one and then you can, um, go all the way to, you know, snap these together with some Velcro and it will go and it's pretty big. So it goes across this whole classroom. This is not actually where if we are going to do tunnels, we don't do it in this classroom. We go out to the family room where it's a little more space, but, um, this is a great thing for gross motor because you can close it up and put it away. So the last thing that I have, I'm going to move this table right here to show you um, is our ball pit. And so I store our ball pit here in a laundry basket and I just slide this on top of my deep freezer in my daycare kitchen so it really doesn't take up any room at all. And our ball pit here just opens up and it's really big as well. So you can see that that's a really good size um, ball pit and then I can just dump the balls in. So we like to do um, when it is tunnel day we like to do the tunnel with the ball pit um, together because sometimes they really wear like the ball pit or the tunnel doesn't really keep their attention very long. So gross motor really is only about 10 to 15 minutes with my age group. And I do have a younger age group. Um, but it is a really good thing to work on with your little ones. So I hope this video was helpful and I'm going to show you where I uh, store all this stuff. And you can kind of see that it doesn't take up much room at all. So in my daycare closet, the roller ball and the tunnel, I just slide back here in this corner. So the ball pit, I just keep on top of my deep freezer in the daycare kitchen. And then the ball pit is just in the garage by all my kids' bikes. Hey guys, as I was editing the video, I realized I forgot to uh, finish it. So thanks for watching this video. And I hope that gives you some ideas for gross motor within your daycare. I will try to find um, all of the stuff I talked about and link it below. Tell me some ways that you do gross motor when it's rainy or too cold to go outside. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.